Well, hello, this is the final boss, and this is Shogun Showdown Prologue. So let's start a new run. Why don't we? I'm going in completely blind. Turn around. Oh, okay. Lowerward click. Or... Oh, I see. Okay, middle mouse or click mouse. Okay, okay. This is something. Okay, attack Q. Click or drag and drop to the tile to the attack Q. Attacking space or R. Oh, interesting. I don't know why I wouldn't just attack individually, though. Maybe it just it saves time. Combat is turn-based. Performing one of the following actions triggers a turn. Move, turn around, add a tile to the attack queue. Attack. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I would do. S is to wait. Skip a turn by waiting. A very useful action. Rearrange and remove. You can rearrange your mutos without attack Q, without triggering a turn. Defeat the enemies to proceed. So now I want to turn. Oh, well, that redid a thing. Okay. I think I get it. Cool down. After using a tile to attack, it'll take some turns to recharge before it can be used again. Oh, so I was had no cooldowns for a while. Okay. 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 Defeat the enemies to proceed. Okay. The music is a little smidgy repetitive. get it now I actually really like this oh sneaky sneaky <laughs> you can swap position with the enemy by moving forward when facing it swap has a four turn cooldown okay Oh, that hits behind me, too. That's really nice. Okay, your journey holds many lessons yet to be learned. Choking is a curse upon this land, and you must be vanquished at all costs! Okay. 
Well, F that Shogun. That was a very helpful tutorial. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, I thought that was pretty neato. Bamboo Hero defeat the Sumpli Sumpli Shop meta. Okay, that's my meta progression. I, I I feel like that should have like a bigger, a better name than meta progression, right? I mean, come on, make me, make me live in the world. You know, I feel like calling it's like mechanic. The Wanderer, yes. Any character named the Wanderer, I play them. Period. Because I think it's the coolest. If you read my novel, that's going to get published in um, next January. Uh, you will see that it is it is called... There's a character called the Wanderer because Wanderer characters are awesome. Yeah, I don't know exactly why I would stack things quite so much. Oh, I guess he can hit behind him. Got it. Okay. So some of them hit behind them, some of them don't. Okay. I like this. I like yeah. This is a great game. I downloaded two games to test. One of them was like 11 gigs. This was 200 megabytes. And I have a feeling this one's going to be the better of the two. This is awesome so far. Back off. Dash backward and hit the first enemy behind you. Strike the first enemy in front of you. Shuriken for one damage. Oh, so is there a reason I would skip these? Is this like roll and... I mean, I have a sneaky feeling there's going to be some, some difficulty removing these things. Reroll is three gold. Skip. Well, just to, for the sake of trying more things for the game. But I, yeah, so that's how much damage it does. What was this one do? Back. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. I guess you can kind of like pre program a flow, maybe? It's gonna hurt. Okay, he dashes towards me. Oh my god. Get this guy out of here. Oh. Uh, I'm in some trouble here. So, I don't know how far that guy dashes. Okay, the whole way. <laughs> I don't know what I would do about that. <laughs> okay. Do I have to leave someone between me and him? Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. This might be, you know, again, a lot of these indie games are tuned for, you know, like developer skill, you know, who are like the people that know how it all works.
I didn't notice if my life was persistent or not. So sword strike the cell in front of you for two. The very short cooldown, kind of like that. Dash through enemies to the first free cell behind them. That's pretty good. I see. So that's the bi-directional one. I guess you stack them up to get bigger combos, potentially. Ah, uh, okay. I kind of get the stacking now. It's uh, cleverer than I thought in some ways. Whoa, what the frick is flip is this? Take 2x damage next hit. Alright. Ooh, let's go. Alright, that's pretty cool. I like that I can kind of... Oh my god, there's more? Get out of here. Ow. How many of these guys are there? Get that dash move out of here, sir. My goodness. One upgrade. All right, I, I really like my swirl a lot. What? Oh, is it an upgrade? Okay, who's this? Datsue the, the dasher. Oh no. I don't like that. Okay, I see. What does that mean? Oh, I'll just... Okay, it's so, okay. cool game i'm very impressed this is this is fun i like the like the light tactics because tactics games are a little bit too much of a headache i'm just gonna keep upgrading swirl swirl's my guy uh, i don't know what what i don't think that's doing anything it looks exactly the same but oh so i still have consistent hp that stinks sacrifice tile and dancer shop Damage, Upgrade, and Warring Shop. Uh, we'll do Damage Upgrade. That's always good, right? I don't know what the Warring Shop is. Okay. Oh, I see. So that's like the max amount of what I can upgrade. That makes sense. Uh, shop upgrade, unlock a slot. Permanently add a skill slot to this shop, sure. Sniper, plus one damage when hitting from four cells away or further, sure. 
Why not? I'm trying stuff out here. Edamame brew. Heal three. Do I have to buy it? Sell Edamame brew. Oh, I see. Kalami. Sell Kalami brew. Gain a shield. Ah, I see. So these are kind of my, like, Slay the Spire potions. These are my... Hey, you know what? This is a really nice... It's a pretty cool game, you know? I, I, you know, I might play this on my own time. The developers were very kind and gave me a copy to try. But I'll be darned if this one isn't pretty fun. Oof. I took a lot of damage there, guys. Oh, that guy goes too skill. Okay. Okay. I'm going to heal. Get off me, son. Oh, darn, I forget stacking a move takes turns. Oh, my goodness. At the first enemy in front of you, swirl, strike the cells in front and behind you. I already got that. That one's lower cooldown now. Is that because I upgraded this other one? Is why it's so high cooldown now? So I have a max amount of stuff I can have here? Yeah, I like that, that you can kind of prepare a few things. Oh, shoot. And all of that. I mean, I'm in some trouble here. Hope my shield lasts. They got four in my shields. Oh, I see. It's just a one time. Okay, I'm a little bit in trouble here, so I like my, so this normal dash, maybe I can upgrade it, I mean, I don't know, minus four cooldown, minus one damage, what? Oh, 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 that's what it does, oh, oh, I see. So that's why this one's cooldown went up so high. Got it. I'm going to still drink my potion, though, because I'm really low on life. Um, then that just does nothing. Hmm. Just skip this one. I don't think it's worth it to lose damage. Call me crazy. Hmm.
Get comboed, sir! Probably shouldn't do that. That is the one downside. When I clear a wave, I kind of want all my... I, I want all my cooldowns to reset. It doesn't feel really good to, like, have a cool combo to finish a wave off. And then you just have to, like, do nothing for the next turn. So I do feel like the... Um, the cooldowns should reset. Ah, still got me, huh? Right, guys, those guys are so toxic. I really hate those guys. I mean, I'm almost dead here, so I really gotta... And poison's pretty good. I'm dead, so I lose. Yeah. Oh, those spear guys do too much damage, I think. But uh, it's cool. Someone to talk to over here. What you got? Curse. Unlock tile. You may find this in future things. Okay. You may find this in future things. Once unlocked, you may find this tile. I don't know. I don't know what. Bow, that's a bow staff, got it. Curse and grappling hook. I'll try grappling hook. Seems cool. I got defeat something the dasher. How many tiles are there? There's a decent amount. There's, uh, there's a good amount. Alright. Hmm. The decisions on whether to do one more run... Uh, you know what, for, my only concern is that if the video gets too long, um, it will be less interesting, I think, for, for, uh, for viewers, right? But I'll play this next battle, and then I'll summarize my thoughts on the game. And, but overall, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's impressive. It's a strong title, I think. Oh, I clicked the wrong darn thing. I mean, that's the thing. It, like, you know, I'm always of the mind of, like, these games that try to be so hard. It's just not as engaging to me, at least. I do want to try the grappling hook out. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have it be a chiller loop, right? Like, you know, one thing I would think about is, like, rather than punishing, you know, errors so hard, it would this game be more fun if, uh, you know, you rewarded, like, skilled play? Like, if I get combos, can I get some of those cool bonus? Like, you know, if I get that two-unit combo or that three-unit combo, like, that's really cool. Could I actually get, like, a tangible in-game reward? Or can I do, like, double damage or crit or something like that? You know, that's... And then you can just make the enemies have more life, right? Because...
got him. Oops. Yeah, I mean, I love the game flow, but again, it feels like... I think it falls under one of the pitfalls of a lot of roguelikes, which is plus one damage. Okay, so I definitely want my swirl to be plus one damage. And it doesn't even add any... Okay, the Wanderer versus the Suke. Okay, so I guess I gotta fight this guy then, huh? That poison effed him up. I appreciate that. Poison is, seems to be very strong on bosses. Uh, minus two cooldown. I mean, kind of want it all to be on my like back and forth mode, right? That seems really busted. I love it, though. Sacrifice tile and guarding shop. Well, let's do the one I didn't go to. Cooldown upgrade and combo shop. Maybe guarding shop, because, you know, I've been getting hit pretty hard. Sacrifice tile, get 40 coins. All right, sell at a mame brew. Um, fortress, starts fights with a shield. Yeah, I want that. Guarding shop, upgraded. Reroll, blood service, reroll and restock the shop. Okay, that's the upgraded end. Oh, I sold it, and this is use it. Got it. So I'm going to sell one, use one. I mean, honestly, I want to keep playing. And so you know what? I will. I will. I will keep playing. Um, but I do think that they're, like, between waves, you know, I don't love persistent life. I like being able to start levels fresh. It just feels better, honestly. Yeah, the grappling hook helps against those spear guys quite a bit. Quite a bit. Shadow dash. Dash through enemies. I really liked that one with the dash. Strike two cells in front of you. Piercing. Um, Piercing. Okay. That's pretty good. Both of these are pretty good. What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to go shadow dash. I think I really... I remember really liking that one. That one had some good combinations. Like, so for like this, for example, I could do Shatter Dash, Swishy Swashy, switch this guy out. Oh, they hit them. Okay. Friendly Fire, got it. Ready for this? Are you ready for this? Shut <laughs> That does feel really good, but where's my reward? Where's my, like, I heal one, or I get a, you know, uh, like a, like a extra power-up, or I get some items. Like, that's the thing. Those combo, like, you know, what's the fun, feel-good part of the game? It's those combos in this game where you, like, line up a little program and then it runs and you'd like do a really good job or you like finish off two enemies like that is the thing to reward and so like one degree like why is this game punishing me for stuff for like learning it right like you know when it could be rewarding me for 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 doing interesting things right Ugh. 
think I just take damage here. Oh, the stupid spear. Gosh, I hate that. Ugh, the spear, man. So toxic. Plus one damage. What do I want to do that on? I mean, another range damage is good. I feel like grappling hook press the double blade is really busted. So, okay. Oh my. Get off me. And I hate the spear guys so much. Interesting. Plus one damage, plus one cooldown. Mm. I don't use Shadow Dash a lot, so I don't think that matters too much, but it's a little bit higher cooldown. The Wanderer versus Elawi the Impaler. Well, first I want to use some health, then I want to use some Mass Curse. Okay. Cool up. All right, I wish I had some more poison. That was really handy last time. So grappling hook, this. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. That does something. Okay, we got the second boss. What do I get? We get another sword. We get a dash. the dash. Dash seems good. Did I lose something? No, I just rotated. Cooldown upgrade in Warring Shop. Max level upgrade in Dancer Shop. Okay, I gotta see what this one's about. Itanchi, hello. This is a cool game. I know you're a gamer fan. Blood Service. Dancer Shop upgraded. Gain five coins for one health. I don't think I'm good about that. Your special move swap deals one damage plus one cooldown. All right, I'll take that. That's cool. Swap's cool. I don't really use this cooldown one, so I'm going to sell that. One max level. I have no idea what that means, but I will. Oh, I see. It means I can upgrade it even further. My swirl is really good, so... I mean, overall, this is a really cool game. I'm really impressed. But yeah, what are my thoughts? Um, I think, you know, there's not much to critique, honestly. This is a stronger than average game. Has a lot of good things going for it. I do think the music could be mixed up a little bit. I was just listening to this uh, same kind of section of music again. But yeah, um, the art's amazing. The mechanics are really thoughtful and, and have feel-good moments where you get that, ooh, yeah, I did it uh, feeling. The one concern is, 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 you know, managing life and the roguelike run thing, I think, I wonder if we still need it, <laughs> you know, 
Like, you know, can't we just make all the enemies harder and let me start at full health? Like, just managing my health and doing all that stuff is such a headache. I just wish, you know, it wasn't such a tenant. Maybe that's just me. I wish I could start each of these little battles like a puzzle with full life and a puzzle to solve. And maybe they have more health or maybe whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do um, wonder if there's some opportunity for tweaks there. In terms of like the um, the core loop, also when I finish a wave, I would love if my cooldowns reset so that I could keep doing cool combos. I think it's sort of like why withhold the fun? Like that is really fun when you're able to land a cool combo or maneuver the enemies in such a way where you can get an extra um, extra bit of damage in. So why limit that? Why just make me sit and press S and wait? until the next wave of enemies is already halfway hitting me before I can build my next little strategy, right? Build my next little play. Um, and the last thing that I would think about is around... Um... Oh gosh, I had it in my head a second ago. The upgrades I liked, I like the upgrade system, I like the shop system seems really good. Um... Yeah, some of the meta progression naming was a little light, where it's sort of like, why not just, um, you know, why instead of calling it meta, just let it be like achievements or like, like trophies or like, you know, ears, you know, like Diablo used to do when you would kill someone in D2, you get their ear, which is kind of gruesome, uh, but, but I guess that was Diablo too. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's a really cool game. Um, I, there's not a lot to complain about, um... But yeah, I do wonder, hey, do you need to have the, the, the consistent life? Can it be more of a puzzler? Um, oh, yes, and can I get some sort of reward for a big combo that's actually material? Can I heal one if I get a three-unit combo? Can my cooldowns reset if I get a two-unit combo? Can I get a potion if I get a four-unit combo? You know, um, or and then what's great is if I clear a wave, it resets my thing, and then I get another combo. Can it count for an eight combo, right? So let's say I combo, clear a wave, I kill two guys, I get a two-person combo. My cooldowns reset, I can line up another combo to get a four-person combo. Could that, you know, and then I take out two more guys, could that give me even higher and higher rewards? How do you make that combo curve that feel-good part of your game exponential is the biggest question I would ask myself if I was designing these things. But overall, I think this is a really strong thing. But, you know, don't hide from the fun. If you have something that's fun and that feels good, like, how do you amp that up? Not how do you put it behind as many cooldowns and health recharges and all these things. Um, you know, how do you make it rewarded? How do you... Say, hey, you get something great when you get a combo. How do you let it my cooldowns reset so I can do bigger and bigger combos? How do you let me string together bigger things? Um, that would be the thing that I would continually uh, encourage the developers to think about. But overall, it's a cool project. I, I have no very few complaints. Uh, and most of those are just things that I think could make this uh, go from good to great. But anyways, great job. And I'm excited to see um, what you all come up with next. Take care.